Hi guys, welcome back to the second part of my um, Machine Gun Nevis build. You know, these are nice magnets for trying to line this thing up. Is a pain in the butt. I guess we need a hammer. with a gas tank right here. Um, on the sexy machine, I never gave you guys uh, dimensions on how I built it. I don't know if you guys want dimensions or not. Like, I don't make plans before I um, build these carts, but I think of it, well, I think about it before I build them, and then most of the stuff I do, I think of it as I'm going along. If you guys do want uh, plan, uh, like measurements on the sexy machine or whatever, just let me know in the comments, and I'll give you all the plans. Like it's this one here is thirty-two inches, ah, uh, thirty-two and one eighth, thirty-two inches wide, and before I angle it for the front end, it's thirty-two and a quarter. Yeah, I didn't even know that. I just went by eye. So 32 by 32 and a quarter. So it's almost a square piece. This is the middle section. And if you guys want to know what the size is for the rear end. The, the engine is going to sit up here. The rear end is 20 and, and 3 quarters. 21 inches let's say and the bottom because I angled it the bottom is without the hinge part is 24 and a quarter two feet so two feet by uh, say 21 and a half lo uh, long and it's 23 inches wide so that's the en uh, engine compartment 
That piece there is 32 by 32. 32 by 32. Almost square. You know what I hate? Is when I'm welding. I'm holding the gun like this. But. Or the trigger. But the sparks from the weld. Always seem to get. To the spot that you think. Is. Um, protected. Even when I grind, I wear glasses when I grind, but it always seems to come into my eyes from the top or the bottom of the gla glasses. Okay, so here's where I am with the front section. The uh, thing I have to figure out is how high I'm going to make the back. Like I said, I don't want to put a roll cage on here. But I do need the back on here to um, support the, the shocks. So, yeah, I'm gonna, I am gonna got to figure out how high to make the this back piece and what angle to put it on because I need it on an angle because the back of the seed has to be on an angle and the front I haven't connected yet I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with the front obviously um, I'm gonna have to put some kind of bumper on here uh, build some kind of bumper to put on here because this thing is gonna take a beating and yeah that's where i am so i'm gonna sit down have a beer on all of you guys and think about it okay i'm gonna try to put this at uh Huh, trying to figure out here what's the best. Six degrees. So what I'll do is I'm going to tack it and then I'll hit it a little bit to, to see if it goes to uh, six degrees. Now it's at two. That's at five. You know what? I think five is going to stay. I think five is pretty good. Five degrees is going to be what I want. Gotta go a little bit that way. Oh, man, you know, sometimes you're good and sometimes you're gooder.
6.1 so here's the shocks I got I have no clue how good they are I don't know but I was thinking of putting them right here and I got a couple of options uh, I don't know if I should just weld a bolt on here and a bolt on here and just slide the shock into the bolt or build brackets for for it like maybe here Nick maybe that'll be best okay so here's the brackets I made for the shocks it's just plates and uh, I think they'll work perfect now I'm not really sure about the angle but I do need to put it on a certain angle that uh, let me just show you here that the engine doesn't hit it so I actually think I actually think this is a pretty good angle I think that's actually a pretty good angle I don't know if you guys have better ideas like leave comments I can always cut it and, and reposition it but I don't want it too far back because like I said the engine um, and I think this angle is okay like I I don't see any problem with it I don't know how good the sharks shocks are but uh, I think that'll work I'm going to lift this up a little bit also in the center before I weld the brackets because then when I put the weight of the engine and my weight in the in the cart and everything it's going to straighten up right so I'm going to leave this video here um I'm going to make a video I'm, I'm going to test the gun for this the the paintball gun that I'm going to put on here I'm going to test it out tonight and I'll have I should have that video up tonight also and um, yeah like um, so yeah at our David Johnson uh, I gotta mention the tool review at our other channel at our has helped me quite a bit David John is cool is cool he's got good videos that I, I wish you guys would go see his Murray Murray build and uh, I love, every time I watch it, I love that smile on his face because he got a boy. Um, T-Man, obviously, he builds great stuff, so check out his videos. And what I started also seeing was Stacy Reeves. He's got a great project, uh, a lawnmower. I love the wheels on that lawnmower. And you guys should check it out. Anyway, like I said, I can't mention everybody, but cheers, guys.